Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we are gonna create Scribble logo inside Adobe Illustrator. Scribble logo ha have its own personality. It almost feels like they have a lot of energy, human expression and deep emotional attachment for the people that behind this logo. And of course, some sort of childish nature. I'm gonna pair this logo with Gabriola font. Uh, that, as far as I know, default for Windows. Uh, it was designed by John Hudson, inspired by uh, music and named after the Gabriola Island. So, let's do it together, here, inside Adobe Illustrator. So, I am now in Adobe Illustrator new document and first of all we need to create a wine bottle icon. In order to do that we are gonna start with the rounded rectangle tool. So grab your rounded rectangle tool, hit once on your artboard, set the corner radius to 30 pixels, set the height to 300, uh, sorry, 650 pixels and set the width of your rounded rectangle to 290 pixels. Uh, click OK to apply the changes, leave uh, the black color and align it horizontally to the center of your document. Uh, now I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool or click M, hit once to open the rectangle tool dialog box and here I want to set 100 pixels to my width and 350 pixels to my height and click OK to create a rectangle. Uh, align to the center of my artboard horizontally and then move it like so it so one fifth of this rectangle is uh, overlapped with this large uh, rounded rectangle uh, get, click on the slash to delete a stroke so now we need to create this cup and in order to do that we need to grab our round rectangle tool hit once on our artboard and set the uh, width of our cap to 180 pixels and height to 40 pixels. Set corner radius to uh, 30 pixels. Click OK. Now we need to uh, select. Uh, let me swap our fill and stroke. First of all, this cap should be dissected in the middle with this rectangle. Then I'm gonna grab my T Rex selection tool and select these two points on my top left. Hold shift and select these two points on my top right. So they are filled, other hollow. And notice that we have these bullets and we can round the corner. And we need to round the corner to around 100 pixels. Uh, a bit less or a bit more than 100 pixels but around 100 pixels then align all of your design elements to the horizontally to the center nice now select all of them go to the pathfinder and unite uh, if you can find your pathfinder go to the windows pathfinder here uh, so we have this bottle uh, and i want to swap feeling strong and probably apply this uh, pinkish uh, color to it and go to the effect and apply scribble effect so we need to go to effects stylize and scribble and here i have a very interesting uh, i have a uh, setting settings uh, to custom you can uh, watch the default childlike sharp swash um, yeah, and uh, even more pattern uh, but I prefer to use it as a default and then set my angle to uh, zero degrees click tab then set my uh, path overlap around 15 points click tab and then set the variation around 7 pixels click tab uh, then a line a stroke to two points click tab then curviness to uh, 28 28 percent click tab now variation to seven percent click tab 
now 24 pixels to spacing and 20 pixel to variation. Click tab and we are ended with this result. Uh, click OK. So we have this bottle and now I want to uh, go to object expand appearance. As you can see we uh, ended with this stroke and I want to increase the stroke weight to round 3.5 pixels. Very nice stroke. Now I want to apply background to the whole shape. In order to do that we need to select it Ctrl A to Command A to uh, make a compound pass from this shape and now go to the gradient and apply a default gradient. I'm sorry we need to apply it to the stroke. Uh, this gradient has a wrong direction so I want to change a direction here on this dialog box. Set it to 90 degrees. Now I want to leave uh, my white uh, as it is and I want to double click on my black stop color. Choose CMI Chi from the menu on top right and apply this uh, again this purple purple pink color okay uh, as you can see now it's uh, faded on the bottom but I do not want this fade I want to create another stop point here and delete my white and then move this stop point to the end of my left uh, like so, so it's uh, kind of fades, but it's uh, still uh, contain a color here. Uh, now I want to grab my type tool, type fine, very nice, set it to this, uh, let's say this gray, and now change color uh, change uh, font to Gabriola Gabriola okay visit it a bit more very nice and we are ended with this very nice scribble logotype so if you like this tutorial do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friends I want to thank you for volunteering have a nice day